everyone, it's Clyde of Vibrant Soap, and today I'm going to be making a blueberry soap. It's been a great blueberry season. I planted about five years ago about mm, two different types of blueberries in one container. I heard that that's a better way to get them to produce, and it certainly has prolonged the season. I've been getting blueberries for quite a long time now, and so I'm going to use some of those blueberries in the puree in the soap itself, knowing that it's high in antioxidants, but, but mainly because I think it's going to add some interest to the soap. I've included the skins that add a little bit of speckle in the soap, but I also know that the sugar content is going to make the soap either speed up or um, discolor a little bit, so I'm prepared for all of that. And I'm going to do the color tutorial because blueberries are more than just blue. There's blues, there's purples, there's greens, and so I've called upon all those colors to put into my soap because they make it more interesting too than just all blue. So let's get started right away. Okay, I'm going to pick the last couple blueberries for the early spring season off our blueberry bush. I've gotten about over a gallon off this potted blueberry plant, but I'll be able to find enough for today's soap. Just a blueberry soap. Let's see. Any more? There's another one. Okay, I'm going to take these inside and puree them with some distilled water and add them to the soap. Okay, so here's my blueberries and here's my color wheel. Um, I'm going to show you something just a little different today. So here's my purple, but I know that my batter is going to turn brown on me because I have that blueberry puree in there. And what does brown mixed with purple give you? I'll show you right here. Get some brown on my brush. That's a little too much brown, so I can get more purple there. So the result, I don't know if you can see it there, is a plum. And I'm okay with plum in the soap, so I'm going to make sure that the part of my batter that has the blueberry puree in it is mixed with the purple and mixed with something else that won't you know, what I want to say, morph the color into something that I don't want. So I have a feeling that the brown plus the blue will really turn to mud. So how I'm going to strengthen that blue is to make it so dark that the color of the soap batter doesn't alter it in a not too very favorable way. So I just added a little bit of black to that blue, which should make it dark enough to be the darkest color in there. And of course that's called a shade of blue again, and I think that will add some definition in place of black. I'm going to have this really dark blue. And then I'm going to have a, pretty sure that I'm going to have a creamy colored soap, again because of the sugars in there. So I'm going to just add a little bit of yellow a little bit of orange to simulate what I think is going to happen to the white part of the soap. Um, hopefully you can see that too. Maybe a little bit of brown in there. So all these colors serve some kind of mission in this soap. So the blue is going to be this bright part of my soap. And why would I want that? Well, because of the word blueberry, I want the blue to really be vibrant and drop and jump out at you. So there's basically my color scheme. It's all over the place, but um, is that realistic in a berry? Well, I don't know if you can see this or not up close because the light's kind of bad, but that's a blueberry and it has this dark navy blue quality to it, but real slightly on the other underside is this uh, purple to plum purple color in it and uh, so that explains that. So why the white? Uh, I needed something light like a highlight to bring out all the colors so that there's some kind of contrast in the soap design. So that's it. There's the color tutorial. There are blueberries from our bush out in front and let's get started with the soap making. Okay, so before I get started with the mixing of the soap, I just wanted to show you I separated my oils. And in this one, I included some aloe vera, vera juice or gel. 
and in this one I put my puree of blueberries. So I did that because um, I didn't want the blueberry puree to interfere with the lighter colors and I know that there's sugars and the um, skins that would that might just brown the soap a little bit too much. So I'm going to add my dark colors into that mix and my lighter colors into that mix. And if I don't talk about it during the actual blending, it's because I'm trying to keep these things straight in my head and thinking a little bit more than talking. But I want to show you that. So first of all, I'm, I'm going to show you this fragrance that I'm using for the first time. I don't know if you can see that because of the lighting, but that's the um, Rustic Essentials Blueberry. And out of the bottle, I wasn't sure about it, but now that I've already pre-mixed it in my, my oils and clays and milk some, it smells just like blueberries. So this is going to be the lighter of my two um, batters. Um, so I'm going to blend that first. I separated my lye solution into two equal portions. And this is what I'm going to color with my lighter colors. So um, get that going. And I'm going to split that. My two lighter colors are going to be a light blue. And the white. And before I blend that, I'm going to start my other one. Here's a lie for this one. And that, of course, has my pureed blueberries in it, and that's going to be for my darker colors, purple and blue. See how dark it got because of the sugars in the fruit? Just almost right away. Okay, and I'm going to split this off into my... Can you see that? I think you can. That'll be my dark blue. And of course, my purple. And into my white, I'm going to add some blue jojoba beads. Just that much. Just want a little bit of that. And I'm going to work fast because it's already getting kind of thick. Just want to stir these in. It's not a bright white, but I don't want it bright white, I don't think. And just drop swirls in this. I was going to do just drop swirls, but I might just do drops and a spoon swirl. I'm going to start with my lighter color. It smells like blueberries in my little soap room right now. And I like the biggest contrast, so I think it's going to be this purple color. The skin of the blueberry is blue, but when you make jams or pies or anything, it turns purple. So let's get... I like to alternate between the lighter and darker colors. dark blue on next. I'm going to save the white for the top so that a sprinkling of hobo baba beads really shows up well. Light blue. Just a little. So there's some swirls in there. I'm going to save some for the top. That light blue and plum color look really nice together. It didn't start off as a plum, but because of the browning of the blueberry puree part of the batter, it turned a little brown, and a little brown plus purple makes a sort of plum. The rest of the white. Okay. 
So then I'm going to do a little spoon swirl here with a chopstick. A little blue on top. Or white. You just know blueberries are high in antioxidants, so there's going to be antioxidants in this soap. I just mentioned that because it's true that all knowledge is probably not that much in the soap, but the idea of it being there is kind of nice. Is looking so cool I think I might just leave it splattered on top it's kind of nice all those colors little globs I'm trying not to cover over any one of the colors I think I will swirl those a little bit and the reason why I'm doing that is because I look at it and I see that there's some big globs of color that would probably look nicer if they're mixed a little more and I think that's it so let me take a few more of the ho 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 ba beads that's hard to say so that up for you I like that sheen of soap when it's just poured and that's it okay let's see how this turned out Got a creamy color to it, and the purple, as usual, is going to morph back into a nice purple. Right now, it looks a little brown. I decided to add a little bit of gold mica as a drizzle on the top, too, to seem like it needed that. Right now, it looks really ugly, but I'm pretty sure that that's going to change. What makes me so certain it's going to change is right on the edge it's already turning because it's been closer to the edge where the air could get to it. So before I'm finished cutting this I'll bring back some of the first cuts and you'll see, I can see it from the corner of my eye that it's already turning purple. So basically when I saw how cream colored this part turned out, that's why I decided to add the gold because um, it sort of coordinates the gold in this cream color um, with the rest of the soap a little better, I feel. Last cut, and I can bring back one of the first ones I cut to show you how purple it has already turned. Kind of a plum. That's quite a big difference, and so I talk about that just in case there are any new soapers out there that sort of panic when they see that first glimpse of the color. It just might not be the color it's going to stay. Okay, so this is Clyde, and this is my vibrant blueberry soap with real blueberry puree in it, and you can even see the little ho ho beads in there. Um, I can get a little closer, maybe you can see those little blue specks. And so this is Clyde at Vibrant Soap. Thanks for watching again. And I'll be back hopefully real soon with a new video. Bye everybody.